start the podcast. <laughs> That's terrible. You can't say stuff like that, John. No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Basement Radio Arcade Podcast. Podcast number 36. This is the No Man's Podcast. <laughs> and tonight, <laughs> tonight I'm joined by, my, by the usual suspects, my co-host, Eric Jackson. Eric, what's going on, man? Actually, I should say Eric broadcasting live from South Florida with Rick Ross, drinking some Moe, and uh, hanging out with some chicks, I guess. Yeah, man, it's like that show Ballers on HBO. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, you know? Which is, it's not a show. That's a documentary. That's how that's how we do down here. Like it's every a way day. of life. A way of life, for real. <laughs> oh, my god! Don't, don't I yeah. wish. <laughs> yeah, don't we all wish? Um, yeah, and uh, we're also joined tonight by my other co host, Mr. Megative, aka Christopher Walken, aka the London Gentleman, aka No Man's Megative, and the co host of exploring the, the Super Deformed Gamecast. <laughs> Quiet, I can't. Help <laughs> What'd you say? You're ex- <laughs> Shh, I'm creeping up on some wildlife right now. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> oh my God. No, ser- ser- yeah, no, right. seriously, I, I just want everybody, full disclosure, I will be playing No Man's Sky the entire podcast. However, having said that, I am an excellent multitasker, and I'll be able to give everything and everybody the attention they deserve, except for B-Money. He, he, gets, no res- he gets no attention from me because he's running late. <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're still waiting for B-Money. Um, Al may or may not join us tonight. Um, He's got some things he's uh, tending to, important, more important things to tend to uh, than podcasts with us tonight. And uh, we hope everything's okay. But, uh, gentlemen, so um, we got some uh, gaming news to talk about. Sure, uh, we have the... Sure. Uh, yeah, we have... Uh, so we got a couple things uh, to talk about this evening. We have... Well, I should say really probably two big things, or two major things. So, John, I know you had some concerns about... Um, the lack thereof, or the lack of news in regards to uh, an announcement uh, by Sony about the PlayStation 4 Neo, and um, so we're going to talk about that because we finally got a, a a date, a reveal date for uh, Neo. Yes, we so we'll did. talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. Yep. And um, the other big news uh, was yesterday um, the release of Hello Games No Man's Sky, which is, I mean, geez, this game, this game's been on a lot of people's radar for a long long time and it's Mm -hmm. has a lot of hype behind it so we're going to talk about uh whether or not the game was up to the hype give you our impressions um eric i don't think you've you haven't picked up this game right i have not all right so um i picked it up yesterday um and i've only put two hours in and john you've been playing this for geez man how many hours have you put in so far uh you know a few just a few? Just a few. Um, so, would you... Quite a bit. Right now, so I've actually... I can tell you how many planets I've... Uh, so right now, I have explored... What, maybe like 30 planets? Um, I'm on vacation this week. I don't have much to do. So, uh, but, but yeah, so so far... Um, I'll tell you what. I, I'll Right off the bat, full disclosure, this game is not for everybody. No. It's not. Um, there, there are some people, you know, and there are some gross mischaracterizations of this game floating around on Twitter. Like, for example, I've seen a few people on Twitter saying, oh, it's basically Skyrim in space. And I'm like, no. No. This is nothing This is nothing like <laughs> Skyrim. Um, if, if, if you think this is anything remotely like Skyrim, you've never played Skyrim. This is, for, first and foremost, this is very much a crafting survival game. Period. Let's just get that out of the way. That's what it is. Um, having said that, it is an excellent crafting and survival game. It's one of the uh, one of the best I've ever played, and and this is and that that's a genre I'm not normally into, but uh, but yeah, I mean this is this is really amazing stuff. Um, and for me anyway, I know that for me this will easily be talked about when when you know like everybody starts you know at the end of the year whenever start you know when everybody starts saying okay give me your game of the year candidates this is going to be in that number for me. Uh, Easily, the the scope of this game. Um, actually, real quick, uh, Nell Sconey in chat says John has been playing in his jammies all week. Actually, that's somewhat accurate. Uh, but uh, I've got nothing. John to do plays right in now. a stone all week. 
I do. My, my, my banana hammock. I'm actually completely nude right now. That's why I'm on camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> by the, by the my beard ritual. of Zeus. My, it's my ritual. Uh, but, uh, I, also, I, my, I smear my chest with peanut butter, you know. It's kind of oh how I roll. But, uh, but no, so... This is this is a really excellent game, and the scope of this game is beyond anything I have ever seen. I mean, literally. It, I mean, once so like once you lift off for the first time, you hit orbit, you know, and you you kind of break the atmosphere of the, whatever planet you start off on. Everybody starts off on a different planet. Once you actually reach space and you see the scope of what you of what kind of what you're dealing with, like your if your mouth isn't hanging open in just stupefaction, then I I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this hey, is... real quick, John, can I interrupt you real quick? No. Yeah, this is this is fucking hilarious. We just started the podcast, and we already have a dislike. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was me. <laughs> that, was, that, that was me. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, but but I, uh, you know, haters will be haters, I suppose. Um, but uh, oh, look, look, it's giving me the so so. Look at this. I just found like it looks like a dog with a crocodile's head. And it, and it just let me feed it. And now it's got a smiley face over it. I don't know what that did, but did I just tame this guy? No, he's just chilling. Look at that. He's your Is buddy he my now. pet now? Yeah, he's my pet. Oh, Hi. You going to follow me around? What's up, buddy? I'm going to name you Sam. And, until um, until he attacks you and bites your fucking head off. Yeah, probably. Kind of like <laughs> guy. But, but uh, yeah, no, this is, this is just an absolutely phenomenal game. Um, you know, and... The potential for this game, uh, I, I think, like, and I guess the best way to put it is the potential for growth is staggering. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's unlimited. I mean, it's literally unlimited. Um, because the game never really ends. You know, like, there, there's no actual... Okay, now, see, this is interesting. That thing I just fed literally shit out a substance. And I can interact with it. You, you have see to, what this is. You have to harvest this sub. You have to harvest the manure. That is, this is, that's weird. That's weird. What, do you have to harvest manure? Let's so, see what this is. The best thing is, that so was the little this to thing, program it. Apparently this thing shits titanium. That's cool. That was someone's sole job to pro, uh, program that. I know, right? Yeah, poor, poor guy. <laughs> you're in charge of all Probably the, some, you're in uh, charge of all the digital feces. <laughs> yeah, you, your, your title's digital defecation manager. Defecation yeah. But, but yeah, no, it's yeah, so it's, uh, I'm having an absolute blast. Um, it, this it, it is very very addicting, and you know people will say that, oh, you know, all you do is you fly around from planet to planet, you mine, you survive, and and yes, that is what you do. Um, but the sheer oh, Chrissy, look, I just had, I mean, there's just shit like ships crew. I mean, like there's ships flying around, and I don't know if you guys uh, or I, if anybody else who's played it, I don't know if you've been attacked by pirates yet, but that is that is something else. Uh, when you get I, haven't, some, I haven't gotten that far. When you get in some of these dog uh, dog fights in space, they're actually really really tense. Um, but uh, but yeah, just yeah, just just a wonderful game. I'm having an absolute blast with it so far. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you know we uh, we actually did a um, I, I did a live uh, stream on YouTube yesterday. No Man's Sky and uh, John and B Money joined joined me for a little bit. And um, like John mentioned, just the 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 one thing that really impressed me about this game is is just the the just the sheer size of of these planets. It's like, you know, I'm, I I haven't experienced anything like this um, ever <laughs> in gaming. Uh, and I was, you know, Eric, we were talking about this earlier. You know, I kind of related to my first experience with when I think about open worlds. Uh, you may re you guys may remember uh, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind uh, on the original Xbox uh, that came out in what was that two thousand and Three ish, something like that, yeah. yeah, yeah, and so and 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 nothing had had been done like that on the console, and I remember uh, just being wowed by just how large um, or how how big that game was at the time. But it, it had its boundaries. You couldn't you couldn't you could only press so far before you had to turn back around. And you know this game isn't like that. I mean, you keep pressing, you keep moving forward, and it just doesn't end. And well, um, at some point, I think John, you were like, you you, you should probably turn around because I think I got too far away from. Um, Oh no, yeah, uh, from I mean, my spaceship. Well, Enrique, and that's the thing. Like, and, and that's, I'm glad you touched on that because we've all heard kind of those 
those advertising, you know, statements from you know, like from Bethesda, for example, when you know, like in Skyrim, when they say if you see that mountain, you can go there. But you can't really go there. You know, like you can go to that mountain if you see something in the distance, you can go there. But there's an invisible wall around everything. This is the first game where I can. I mean, you can say you can go there. Like you can point at a star and say you can go there, and you can actually go there. Mm. Like it's. I, I have never encountered. Anything like this, and and, and the other thing yeah, I'll say is it, that this this game was made for the uh, for the share button. Oh yeah, and for VR. I guarantee you this gets some kind of VR support. I'll be stunned if it doesn't. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it didn't get VR support because I mean oh, yeah. this this game. As I think about you know uh, the the demo that I um, was it uh, I forgot the. The game that I tried out for uh, PlayStation VR. Oh shit! Oh, Anyhow, the, the game where you fly in space. E Valkyrie, thank you, Eric. Yeah, E Valkyrie. It, it, it made me think about my my experience with E Valkyrie, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh my gosh, like, like this this game is perfect for this this game screams VR." And um, I, I can only imagine. I'd be surprised if if this wasn't a, um, a a PlayStation VR launch title. I really would. I'd be really surprised. Mm. I you know. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if it'll be a launch title or not, but I can definitely see this getting some kind of VR support. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's made for it, especially those uh, sections when you're flying your starship. Um, that would be that would be really amazing, in my opinion. Yeah, I think they're gonna they'll give it some room to breathe because I know they're also they said like once the game ship, they do have some DLC plan. Oh, dude! And, I, I'm sure they've got tons of stuff planned for those. Yeah. Tons. Yeah, and and that's that's the I think you know. Even though I haven't played the game yet, when I, from hearing you, you talk about it and seeing some other, you know, impressions on Twitter and write-ups and things like that, it definitely seems like a game that has the potential for expansion. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. Um, one thing I do recommend, like, the game itself has a, a wonderful soundtrack, a wonderful ambient soundtrack, but I highly recommend putting, like, some classic rock on a thumb drive and sticking it in your PS4 and cruising around the galaxy to, like, you know... The fucking uh, you know something really awesome like little little uh, little little Alice ACDC, Chains, little, Hell's or little ACDC. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I was doing. I, I, I was doing. Do, I, I love Alice in Chains. Um, I was doing that earlier. I was cruising around the galaxy to a little Marvin Gaye. Mm. That was that was awesome. <laughs> that was. Hold awesome. on, what Marvin Gaye song that? were you listening to, man? <laughs> Would it be? Oh, yeah. oh dude. Oh, I, oh, I, I actually, I, I actually love Marvin Gaye, but I was listening to a Trouble Man. Brother, for some, brother. For some okay. reason, Trouble Man, sing. Trouble Man seems to fit with that perfectly. I don't Trouble know why. Man <laughs> fits perfectly. Um, now there are there, and you know, I, I want to touch real quick on some of the stuff that Sean Murray has already said is coming. Um, for mm-hmm. example, we've got uh, you'll be able to um, build your own space station, which I think is pretty cool. And he also mentioned bounties, like bounty hunting. I see that um, would be great. That would, that be, would awesome. be really cool. That would be really cool. Um, and there's something else I want to touch on too. And this has been kind of the, the big controversy today is that those those two players who tried to meet up and they couldn't see each other. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I did read about that. So and everybody's been saying, "Oh, Sean Murray, you lied." Blah 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 blah. There's no actual, there's no multiplayer, which is ridiculous because he never said there was multiplayer. But 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 he did say, you know, that there is a chance you can run into somebody. Um, but it's been strongly hinted at that this was due to because because the servers are very unstable right now. Um, and it's been hinted at that this was this is due to either them a, a server issue or just a glitch in the game. But apparently, you you should be able to actually, you know, there's a way to know whether or not somebody's near you. Um, and I'll be interested to see how that pans out in the future. Um, now, having said that, mm-hmm. this is one of those games where like, you know, I mean, it literally simulates a universe. So you know, I one I I kind of enjoy that sense of solitude and yet I know that somebody else is out there exploring planets like that that is very cool to me I don't need I don't need this to be destiny if I want a massively right. multiplayer game in space I'll go play I'll go play fucking destiny you know like right. that's I, I'm not playing this for the incredible MMO experience that's not what I'm in this for and I don't I, I and if you're doing that then you're completely missing the point of the game in my opinion right but that's just, a, but, but, supposed to yeah but I mean no, but sorry. that's just me that's just me no, because it's supposed to be yeah, like, like it's supposed to be like, well, from my understanding, it's almost like that water cooler game, you know, where two people can talk about an experience that they had, and it could be completely different. You know, it's also randomly generated, so 
I don't know why everybody's up in arms about the multiplayer thing and having this. It's almost like it's almost like um, what's the word I'm looking for? False aggression, false anger. What you know? What I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's well, like, no, it, it's 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 honestly, it's people who are just looking for something to complain about. Right. You know, and and I mean, yeah. you know, I I went back and I looked at some of the marketing statements that Sean Murray made, and it's the game is exactly what he said it was going to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, bottom line, it's just that's just the way it is, you know. Yeah, I, um, I, I actually, I yeah, I went back and looked at some things too. I, I and, and I never saw him come out and say, "Hey, we're going to have this robust, you know, multiplayer system included in the game where you can send out friends list or a party invite to all your friends, and four of you guys can hop on a planet or hop in a ship together and go explore the galaxy together." Um, but on that on that same point, you know, I, I yeah, and I said this to you yesterday, John. I do feel like there's a, there's a multiplayer element that would be nice to have in this game. You know, like if if you and 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 another person or or two other people, whatever the case may be, if, if you could have friends join join mm-hmm. you in a game and explore a planet together, like I think that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Um, you, know? And, you know, I'll be honest with you with with all the um, excuse me with all the hemming and hawing that's been done about that, I would be surprised if they don't patch something into the future. Right. I, I and they could. I, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's going to be incredibly extensive. And, and to be honest, but if, I mean, again, in the same vein. <laughs> Excuse me. I would be fine if they didn't. Mm. I mean, this is this is literally. I mean, like I said, I mean, this is something where the the possibilities for this game are endless. And and there is enough multiplayer dreck out there right now to where like I don't necessarily want it in this game. Mm-hmm. But again, that's just, I mean that's just me. I understand that's what some people are for. But well, if you're playing, you know, if you're playing this for multiplayer, you're 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 barking up the wrong tree. Well, here's the crazy thing. At least you played it, so you can have an opinion on it. I just I can't understand people who haven't played it who seem to have all the opinions on it. Oh, I can. I can absolutely understand it. People just some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the saw yeah, of a tangerine. True. They want to see. Yeah, they want to see. And you know what's crazy? It's you know, um, it, I, did you guys hear about Jim Sterling? His review of the game. Give it a five yeah, out of ten. Yeah, he got uh, and he got uh, he got DDoS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like it's it's who it's a fucking review. Chill out, people. Yeah. You know, seriously. if you if you like the game, that's all that matters. Who cares if if another reviewer doesn't like it? So long as you like it, that's all that matters. Honestly, and it's crazy that I that it's crazy that I even have to say that. It shouldn't mm-hmm. surprise anybody, though. No. No, it shouldn't. Yeah. I yeah. mean, this this happens. It's a tale you know, on on both sides of the aisle. I just don't understand going out of your yeah. way, you know, to find anything wrong with it. You know, maybe because it's not on your platform of choice, and that goes that goes the same when a game releases on another platform, like on Xbox or something. You know, if people people go out of their way to you know tear it down or tear down something down. I'm just like, if your platform is that awesome, whichever one you decide to play on, you don't have time to sit there worrying about what the other one's doing. Well, it's always the same stupid story, right? Like, yeah. I, mean, I mean, whenever you have a um, whenever you have a game on PlayStation Four that Xbox gamers want to hate or a game on Xbox that PlayStation gamers want to hate, they always say, you know, oh, this game is trash, it's garbage, even though the funny thing is is that if that exact same game were on their platform, they'd be gushing. Mm-hmm. Um, if the order was on Xbox One, they'd been gushing about, oh, it was, un- it was media bias, that's why I didn't get good reviews. And if Quantum Break was on PS4, PlayStation fanboys would be like, oh, my God, Quantum Break, you know, like it, it's, you know, Xbox gamers wish they had this greatness, you know. Right. But instead, since it's on Xbox, it should all over. And it's the same thing with No Man's Sky. Um, you know, if, if, if something like this... Oh, uh, Peter in chat says, hi. Sorry, man, I didn't see that. Um, but, hey, real uh, quick. Uh, B-Money B has arrived. What's up, B-Money? Not much. How's there it going, fellas? What's up, man? Hey, what's up, It's bro? going, man. B-Money, you, you made me feel terrible about my ship in No Man's Sky, man. I saw your ship <laughs> that you tweeted out. I'm like, how do I get that, man? <laughs> Yeah, that took a lot of hard work, man. But I'm sorry I'm late, fellas. I had to clean up my daughter's uh, mess. My wife is no worries, home. man. She home, so I had, oh, to, had shit. to take care of first. No, no, absolutely, man. No worries. I, yeah, I, no worries I hear you, man. Yeah, yeah. But um, so we were just talking about um, our initial impressions of No Man's Sky. Um, I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. Wrap, wrap up your thought because I, I definitely want to. Uh, broke B money the conversation. Oh, no, 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 his, no, no, his, man. I, I, I do. I've talked enough, man. I want to hear. I, I want to hear. I want to hear B money. Uh, well, my I've first said enough. Of, my my initial thoughts about the game is, um, 
I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's it's definitely what I expected from the game. Um, a lot of exploration, uh, a lot of cool stuff to find. Um, I kind of wish there was a bit of a narrative or, you know, something to kind of tell you, like, what to do next. Because uh, when I first started, I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? Like, I don't know how to shoot. I don't know, you know, how to run. I don't, I don't know where I'm going. It just tells you, you know, like, mine these resources and if you you know have enough of these resources you can do this and when you get enough of those resources you can do that so um you know that was a, that was a little bit annoying but you know I'm, I'm used to it now and um i finally uh was able to get my hybrid drive and leave uh the first planet so i'm actually out in the galaxy now and uh made it to like the second uh second galaxy or, or second planet or whatever so I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm having a good time with it. I see a lot of people um, on social media are, are really trying to put it down. And um, Jim Jim Sterling had his uh, his review, and he gave it like a five. Um, and I saw people, that. And I saw I saw people, people lost their fucking minds. Yeah, people people were going crazy over that too. So, um, but it, it's definitely one of those games you have to get in there and you have to to uh, experience it for yourself. Um, and, you know, that, that's kind of all I can say about it. But I'm definitely having a good time with it. Um, the game looks good. You know, it feels good. Um, like I said, I just wish there was a bit of a narrative kind of tell you what to do. But other than that, um, I'm having a really good time with it. Nice. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can tell you this much. Um, things start happening. So I, you guys are making me feel like a fucking nerd because I'm like on my... <laughs> fifth galaxy, fifth galaxy right be, now, like my thirtieth. Hold on, real quick. Be, be money, Eric. Uh, John hasn't showered in twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I believe it, man. Because I, I was, I was on the fence. Like, yeah, look, uh, he he hasn't denied it either. By the way, no, I showered. <laughs> I was on the fence uh, when the game released. Cause I was like, ah, should I pre order it, or should I just buy, you know, buy a digital or whatever? So like, twelve o'clock it came, and I was like. You know, I don't know if I'm still gonna get it. So then, like, uh, twelve fifteen k and was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get it, and I just got it, and and I just played it until like five thirty in the morning. My wife was uh, getting off her shift. She was walking in the door, and she's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm just traveling through the guy." Alex, <laughs> did, did, so did she look it, at you funny? It was, it was funny? definitely good. Time. I, can, I can actually, see, I can actually see Blake B Money like putting on some fucking really good hip hop and just like chilling, flying through the galaxy. You know, yeah, fucking, man. yeah I can, I can absolutely see that, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm ha definitely having a good time with it, man. Seventeen thirty-eight. That's what mm -hmm. I would be playing. Can somebody tell me what the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so funny you don't know what that I is, man. I have no idea what that is, man. <laughs> oh, don't feel bad, John. I didn't know what it was until Enrique started saying it, and I looked right. it up. Don't feel bad. Oh, you had a, you, you looked it up, Eric? Dude, I'm so out of touch when it comes to certain music nowadays, man. I stick to my classic <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, mean, I'm, Some, I'm a, I mean, I'm a David Hasselhoff kind of guy, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah I... Yeah, a lot of music nowadays is the noise and shit. Oh, man. And I hear some of these names, I'm, I'm straight turned off in the minute I hear some of these names. <laughs> I, I, didn't I heard, I heard I didn't. Waka, Waka Flocka Flame, I'm like, I'm out. I didn't even know uh, I didn't even know who fucking Drake was. Somebody had to tell me. Oh my goodness. And then all Scummy says, John isn't showered in days, sweaty, unshaven, and everything. Actually, I'm completely clean shaven right now, and I have showered, so go mm. fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, seventeen. So, 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 John, seventeen thirty-eight is. I don't even know how to explain it. It's. Um, do you know who Fetty Wap is? Nope. That sounds like something you do by yourself with some lotion. Though. <laughs> <laughs> don't come in here, mom. Fetty Wap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bro, bro, why you why you look so embarrassed, man? Bro, my mom caught me fetty whopping last night. Bro. Oh my god! <laughs> that, fuzzy, that fuzzy porno, man. I think yeah. I saw a tit, and I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get some fetty whopping going on. Yeah. See, man, I thought Waka Flocka Flame was like Fozzie Bear catching the crabs or something, you know? <laughs> fetty whopping. <Yeah. laughs> no, I knew. Anyway, was, I knew who fetty whop was. I just said again, I'm out. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remy, 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 so they, they. They're they're, they're what they call their 
Everybody Fetty Wops. Okay, like 98% of men Fetty Wop. So don't, you, don't, don't, don't feel bad about it. You won't go blind Fetty Wopping. You, you fetty know. Wopping will make <laughs> hair pop up on your palm. Yeah, there you are. Come, come with a hairy palms, yeah, <laughs> masturbation champ. Uh, so no, it's... Uh, it's so yeah, 1738. Uh, the uh, Remy Remy Entertainment is their like uh, I don't know, um, like their thing, their calling card. I guess I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just okay, Enrique. I'm not gonna lie. I stopped caring like five minutes ago. Let's just talk about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> so we we just totally digress. People are like, whoa, what what the fuck's going on here? They're talking about No Man's Sky. They're talking about Fetty Wap and and Fetty masturbating. Wap. But yeah, but um. So uh, back to No Man's Sky. <laughs> For everyone who uh, hasn't, I think who hasn't uh, touched No Man's Sky, like if if you have a friend that has it, you know, definitely, you know, what I'm saying, go check it out and Absolutely. play it for yourself. Well, sure, it, play it. Well, you know, B Money, this is something that I I stressed uh, before you came on, and I can't, and I'll I'll say it again because I can't stress it enough. This game, I think it's an amazing fucking game, but it's but it's an amazing game for me. This is not for everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And I would be, I, I would be, I will be stunned if this game reviews higher than like a seventy-five Metacritic, because it would, because it will be very divisive. Um, you know. Well, yeah, you're gonna have people that either really love it or they just hate it. There will be no in between. No, there's not gonna no be in between. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like I, I, I said this earlier. Like if you, if you like a game like Ark Survival, you, you will probably like No Man's Sky. <laughs> Only this is like ten times better than Ark. This is like twenty times better than Ark Survival. Oh yeah, I played, this is, yeah. I think this is better than. Ark. I played Ark Survival and like that. That was one of the few games where it was so like I'm not a graphics guy. And 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 I'll say this: No Man's Sky is a very pretty game. It's not going to win any Best Visuals of the Year award. But but I mean, if you think about how big the game is, I I'm willing to, you know, I mean, whatever. It's completely understandable. But but uh, Ark Sur- Ark Survival was so fucking fugly I could not play it for more than 50 like I was like this is literally making my eyes water is hmm. uh, what a, what an unbe- and I played it on PC I didn't play it on Xbox but what an what an unbelievably horrid looking game that was <laughs> yeah I mean it, you know it, it, yeah it wasn't uh the best looking game <laughs> that's a uh, that I that I even game. played last year yeah but um I think Nels Coney even said if you like Minecraft this might be something right up your alley too. So um, although that. I'm not a big Minecraft fan. I'm not. Either. Yeah, I'm not a big Minecraft fan. You know, don't care for the creepers or whatever the fuck they're called. Um. So uh. So yeah. So I I put in I put in about two hours. And oh, B buddy, what happened to you last night, man? We were in a party chat and then you just dropped out. Uh, it actually started storming and uh my my power went oh, out. Oh shit! And, oh, uh, man, he was fetty whopping. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was oh, out my for. God. Uh, Probably about he was up till five thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, about three or four hours, and it kicked back on. I just hopped right back on No Man's Sky. So, let me ask you something: the whole time your powers are, you thinking, "Oh man, I can't wait to get back on No Man's Sky." I was, man. I, yep. I definitely was. This is one of those games that is like, like once you really get going, and like especially if you find a really awesome planet, like it is impossible to put down. Yeah, like some planets you won't find like hardly anything, you know, that you think you need or whatever. And then other planets, you like you have to stop like every couple of seconds because yep. you have to, you know, go and mine something or you know go into uh, a settlement or, or whatever. So um, it, it definitely pulls you in. Mm. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Yeah, so so like right now, I just found like this advanced life form, and I can either give him water or give him food. I'm gonna give him some water. See what happens. It's gratitude seems immense. Okay, I made the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, right Eric, choice. did you pick up No Man's Sky? Not yet, not yet. Okay. But um, I think I'm about to. Okay. So I was just waiting for more impressions because, like you said, I wasn't. I had it pre-ordered at one point, and then you know, somewhere along the line, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. You yeah. know, and I think so, it was a couple of games I committed to earlier in the year, and they, in some, in some cases, were to me personally like letdowns right and i was kind of like you know i don't really need to pre-order if i'm gonna it's one of those games if i'm gonna pick it up it'll be readily available or just buy a digital which i do most of most of the time right so um so i think i'm i'm curious enough to jump back in i can tell you right now like i said earlier this is going to be in the conversation for game of the year for me it's not going to win because we all know dark souls 3 is a game of the year but (laughs) this 
No, it really is. And if no, you, it's not. If you, if you think otherwise, you're completely deluding yourself. No, it's, it's not. not my problem. It's not my problem or Miyazaki's problem, Enrique. If you're just not good enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, dude. Oh, that's low, man. That's no. low. You know, fucking Souls games separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak, to coin a phrase. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't coin that phrase at all. But. <laughs> but oh, I mean, God, some of these some of these planets you find, like I, I I'm on a planet right now where you know I land and I'm walking around looking for minerals, and I turn around. And there is a huge planet hanging like right over this one, and it's immense. And, yeah. and like it's moments like this where I'm just like, God, this freaking game! And I can go to that planet if I want. I can hop in my ship and go to that planet. It is it is absolutely insane. Yeah, that's that's the thing that's crazy. Like you know, John, when you were in the party chat with me last night, and you're like, Enrique, look at that planet up there. I'm like, Yeah. He's like, You can actually go there. And I'm like, Yeah. And you know, and it's funny because, you know, I. You know, when I when I when I started the game, I I saw those two planets sitting in the sky. I just never, it just never. I just never thought about going there because typically you don't do that. In yeah, games. no, you can go there. Yeah, and then and then I got in my ship. I finally got all my shit together, got in the ship, and um, you know, hit hit the hyperdrive, whatever, and started flying fast and um, started shooting asteroids to gain more material because uh, I guess my I ran out of fuel or something. Um, but I, I was just, and then, and then the entry point when you're when you're coming in, you're in you're coming in the atmosphere of these planets, and I'm just like, holy shit, this is kind of cool, you know. Have you, have you actually named a planet yet? No, I haven't named a planet yet. I'm gonna name. This I've only Bra played two hours. I'm gonna name this Braptopia. Bra yeah, it, it, it better be a good planet too. It better not be like this like desolate no, this, planet this with like planet no is life. Pretty, planet is pretty barren, and it's full of like little teddy bears that want to kill you. Which really is kind of a my perfect microcosm for the Basement Radio Arcade podcast. So what little teddy bears that want to kill you? Little teddy bears, <laughs> yeah. Not much, not much, you know, not much fluff. Kind of really to the point, and it's full of cuddly things that secretly want to murder you. So, so yeah, I like them like it, assassins. Really, kind of, yeah, very similar. Oh, yeah, look at this! There's like, a shit like coming in, just landing out of nowhere. Man, if they you had, know, I did. like if they had more like actual. Not that, again, like it doesn't have to be Destiny, but if you add some more battle systems, you add bounty hunting to it, dude. dude. I, I'm really interested to see what what they mean by bounty hunting. I think that there there's a lot of potential there. And I'll tell you what, like I play Destiny. I mean, I own Destiny. This game has more more heart and soul in 15 minutes than Destiny had than Destiny gave me in 15 hours. Uh, oh, that's harsh. I'm gonna play it to the soundtrack of Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like this. There you go. I'm not, you know, Destiny is a, a good game. It's not a bad game. I still play it every now and then. I mean, it's not a terrible game. But see, I, but Destiny I, I, I can't up, compare those two games, though. No, but you know what? Um, let's let's make the comparison to where Destiny started to where Destiny is now. And I can see the same kind of thing happening for No Man's Sky. Destiny started. It was not the game that it is now. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Totally no, it, it is a no, far better game now. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not even a question. And he, yeah, and, Bu and Bungie would admit to that wholeheartedly. And, and so, I could see the, I could see the same thing happening with No Man's Sky. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I mean, I, like, I mean, just I mean, the potential for what you can do here is insane. Yeah. Just like, I mean, absolutely insane. You know, and I mean, if they institute hey, like a what's up, man? No, just real quick, I just want to uh, go to chat real quick. Um, B Money actually said, "I refuse to step into GameStop." Period. And I love <laughs> Nels Coney's follow-up here. GameStop is balls. <laughs> As Al would say. By the way, big shout-out. What's that? I, I said, as, as Al would say, it's booty. It is booty. It is yes. booty. GameStop is But the, big shout-out to... Wait, what happened? Uh -oh. I don't know what's happening right now. GameStop, what happened? GameStop got Enrique. <laughs> is, is Enrique gone? I don't Did know. Enrique? He's got to be there somewhere. Enrique, yeah. Do we he's, he's gone, man. He's gone. He's lost in the either. Oh, Game's not yeah. heard of him. Like... <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Enrique, can you hear us? Enrique. Enrique. This is like, if you've seen that show Stranger Things, he's caught in the upside down. Right <laughs> he is in the upside down. <laughs> <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to reach out. Wait, Enrique's caught between worlds. 
Anyway, okay, well, this is our show now, guys. So, we yeah. can, you know, what, what I would suggest we do is just say as many horrible swear words as we can in, in a podcast. <laughs> but no, like, seriously, like, I, I'm sitting here playing uh, No Man's Sky right now, and, and like, and, you know, like, all this is kind of a crazy month for games, right? Like, there's there's mm-hmm. been a lot, you know, I mean, uh, Deus Ex comes out in a few weeks, and I guarantee you that's a day one purchase for me. But right now, I mean, all I want to play is No Man's Sky. You know, yeah. Uh, it's just there. There is, and, and it's not even so much of a. Uh, it's, it's the only the only thing the only way I'll say this is at all similar to a game like Destiny is that it's it, 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 there's that hook that keeps you going. You're like, I want a new multi tool, or I want a better ship, or you know, I want to improve my exosuit. But it's deeper than that. You know, like it's like I want to see what crazy new planet I can find. I want to see what crazy new creatures I can I can come across. What I really want to do is find one of those big ass brachiosauruses that we've seen in the trailers. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I really want. So have you guys come up with any crazy names for your planets? Uh, so I, I've i tried to name them as many foul names as I can. And they all get, <laughs> you know, like Butthole Topia, you know, and uh, uh-huh. although I am going to, I am going to try, I'm going to name this planet Fetty Wap Prime. <laughs> Fetty Wap. Fetty, Fetty Wap Prime. <laughs> That's what Enrique. That's where Enrique is. Like he got so excited uh, talking about Fetty Wap, and he was like, right. you know, <laughs> "I'm going Fetty Wap right now." <laughs> Fetty Wap so hard, you know, Fetty Wap all over the place. That's what he's doing right now. Like, like is he? Can you guys see? Because I'm actually playing um, No Man's Sky as we speak. Is, is he? Is he still in the uh, in the hangout? Yeah, it looks yeah like his, he's in his the hangout. picture is still there. That is so uh, weird. It is. But he's not. He joined the call, but he's not. He's not there. But he's not showing up in the YouTube window. Dude, I just found. Holy crap! Is this gold? I just found like this giant. Oh my! I've got to put a picture on this on Twitter. Oh my lord! I'm gonna tweet this out, and you guys have to see this. I literally found a fucking mountain. Made out of gold. I'm gonna be rich for days. <laughs> this is amazing. This is oh, dude. So, so yeah, so hold on. I'm gonna tweet this out real quick. Oh my! I've wow. <laughs> I like you guys think I'm kidding, but wait till okay, so I'm gonna tweet this out right now. Bam! Tweet it out. You guys have to go to Twitter and look at this shit, dude. Oh my god! I am. I dude. I'm like Scrooge McDuck right now. <laughs> like, like it's so perfect and beautiful. Like, I, I don't want to mind it almost. Look at that thing. Jesus Christ, man! Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to town. I'm going to town, dude. Gold for days. Oh, my inventory is full. Of shit, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Start dropping. Dude, I don't know what the fuck happened to Enrique. But anyway, we'll keep it going. Um, yeah, he's, he was he was having <laughs> laptop issues anyway. So that's all right. We'll keep it going. Hey, what's up, Fastback? Uh, Fastbacks in chat. All right, I'm taking over. Um, you guys see the – we mentioned this before we went live, uh, but did you guys see the invite that went out for the September 7th uh, PlayStation event? I did. So there's pretty yeah. much confirmation because I know it was rumored a few days ago. Yeah. No, it's happening, man. Like yeah. like everybody was wondering whether – you know, is so, will they or won't they? You mm-hmm. know? Uh, but, I mean, it's going down, man. I mean, we're getting – that is where they're going to announce the PlayStation, uh, you know, the PlayStation Neo. So I've got a few questions for you guys. And one, um, what do you think it's called? What are they going to call this thing? They can't go as basic as just PlayStation 4.5, right? N- no, there, I don't think there's any way in hell. <laughs> right. Oh, man, what do they call it? So it was Honestly, rumored that it was PlayStation 4K. That would be a really classy name. Yeah, straight up. I mean, you know, like I really, but but I I can see them. I can see them going with Neo. To be honest with you, just because it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's dumb and like, like, God bless them. I love Sony. I'm a I'm a PlayStation guy. But I mean, like, when they came out with the name, or you know, when they released the Vita, and 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 they were like, you know, hey, uh, hey, here's the PlayStation Vita. I was like, the Vita. Vita, yeah. Like, it's uh, like... Why not just name the PSP two? I mean that 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 name carries weight. I mean, why, the Vita? Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Um, but that what a, what a dumb name. But um, yeah. I mean, so it, I, I, honestly, I, I think it's I think it's going to be PS four K because it's a classy name. Yeah. And yeah, that's 
that's honestly what I think is going to happen. Uh, but I was curious to see what you guys thought. Um, but, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead, Eric. No, you got it. No, I was going to say, I, I think the 4K would only make sense if they are actually truly going for 4K gaming. Um, and but not, I would I would actually just stick with stick with Neo. Um, I, I just stick with the rumored name. Um, and then that, because that's already in everyone's mouth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's everyone, everyone, uh, mine. So it's, it's easier to just go with that and, uh, you know, let that be the name rather than, you know, confusing people with like, oh, well, I thought it was PS, you know, PlayStation Neo and now it's PS4K or whatever other nonsense they choose to name it. Just go with the rumor name and, and let it be that. What do you guys think, uh, what do you guys think the price point is? I think they stay around the same price point. You mean like three ninety nine? Um, yeah, yeah. I think they stay around the same price point. I yeah. think it would only make sense, um, especially with uh, the Xbox One S being at that three ninety nine mark. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if they, if they can come in a little cheaper than that, that would be like amazing. But I think three ninety nine is a sweet spot. Dude, I'm still mining this giant gold brick. <laughs> I think so too. And, and do you think when it comes with a bigger hard drive? Oh, that I is think it has a to. good question. I don't. I don't think it does. I don't. You really uh, think because, they're going to still roll with 500 gigabytes? Yeah, and I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. um, because so so you know the you know the the big rumor is it's a 4.2 teraflop machine. While that's not as powerful as the Xbox Scorpio, that's a damn powerful machine. And because I think the PS4 is what like 1.4 teraflops. Mm -hmm. So uh, like 1.8 or something. 1.8, like yeah. So 4.4.2 yeah. 4. is a substantial leap. Over the PS4 now, Sony has. I mean, from I mean, you know, yeah, they've done. I mean, you know, every corporation does dumb stuff, but they've played it much smarter this uh, this generation than they have in the past. Um, and I don't see them making a huge blunder now. So, and I think Sony knows. That